Hey guys, welcome to a new review. This time I am reviewing the Army of Darkness Ash Funko Pop figure. Now, I am reviewing this special because this is part of my uh, Halloween reviews. I'm going to be doing a bunch of reviews Halloween based and not necessarily based on what I usually review. So, starting out here, we've got Ash. Of course, that's pretty much the coolest character of any horror film, but uh, let's get into the review. Let me pull this out of here. Let me brighten up the area. There we go. Okay. Now, to start off, he's got a very nice little package here. Uh, displays him well. I mean... Uh, there's not much to him, so it displays everything that you need to see. Let's go over the package real quick. Got a nice image from the Army of Darkness movie there. Look at that. Ash, yeah. I'm not sure if he was in that great of shape, but anyway. Uh, on this side, we could see him peeking, sort of like uh, Eugene from The Walking Dead there. Uh, this is number 53. I don't know what that means. It says Pop Movies and Army of Darkness up there, and... Looks like pretty much it. There's no read-up or anything, so let's break it open. Yeah, very nice opening. Uh, okay, now we get this nice plastic piece that he comes in. Let's see how that opens. Uh, don't even have to open them up. No ties or anything. That's pretty neat. Okay, now as you guys can see straight out of the package, he is... One of those uh, stylized versions, so he obviously does not look exactly like the actor. But he is cute for an uh, adult man. Uh, what we've got here is his chainsaw. It looks very nice. That's actually pretty detailed. I figured they wouldn't like put very much detail into this because, I mean, they don't even have mouths, so... I just figured there wouldn't be any detail, but there is. As you can see there, there's some uh, grating there. Then there's the sharp part of the chainsaw. I don't know, the chain of the chainsaw, yeah. It's got nice hairdo here, flopping over there. It's got some uh, lumpiness there. Why not? This guy's belt's wrapped around there, and his one arm that's free from the clothing, and the other arm that's trapped in the shirt. Got a nice tear there, showing off his pectoral muscles. And then his head is pretty much the proportionate size of his body. Yeah, so, pretty much just double the head there. Yeah, I, I could definitely see someone buying this and saying it on their desk. This is definitely what it is meant for. Uh, as for paint, it's got pretty nice paint. I mean, they even painted the shoelaces in the bottom of the feet. Uh, nice glossy paint for the gun here. Nice brown. Uh, light blue shirt. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this light. Probably a little darker, but I don't know. Like it has to be accurate. It's got a nice cut there. He had a lot more cuts in the movie, but again, he's got no mouth, so accuracy is not their thing. But, uh, I mean, really, there's not much to go over with the, with this guy, because he's very plain. Uh, as Let's go over the articulation. His head can n turn a little bit this way, not like a whole lot. And then this way, it can turn up until his hair hits the chainsaw. So there we go. And then for the arms, nothing. For the legs, nothing. For the waist, nothing. Just the head. So... Still, though, it looks like you could get some cool poses out of that. So, this, there, and there. That's pretty much it. Unless you want to have broken neck ash, which I'm pretty sure that's never happened. Uh, let's see how well he stands up. Yeah, pretty good. He's got a very wide stance here. I could imagine if there was any warpage, there would be, like, no way to keep him up. You'd have to definitely heat that up. But let's put him aside here with, uh, here's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer Titans minifigure. Here's a height comparison. See that? And then here he is next to a mystery mini Walking Dead figure. Another Funko figure, actually. Uh, let me move him. 
There we go. So, yeah, he's taller than all of these. Anyway. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, it's kind of nice over there. Yeah. His eyebrows, I think, help make him look kind of like Ash. Because without those, he'd look kind of plain. Those eyebrows. Those eyebrows, though. <laughs> um, I guess that's all I can say for this figure. It's a... It's good for setting up on your desk. Definitely get them for setting up on your desk. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this review up and move on to another. I'm probably going to be posting a lot of videos per day, so check out my other one. Peace.